In a little over a year, the James Webb Space Telescope has completely altered our understanding of the cosmos. Multiple images taken by the largest telescope, with probably the finest infrared resolution and sensitivity, have been going viral around the world since its inauguration on December 25, 2021. The James Webb Space Telescope is, without a doubt, the most sophisticated telescope ever built by humans. The ISIM framework, which integrates the telescope's science instruments, supplies the instrument with power. A computational framework, cooling capacity, and structural stability. The ISIM also houses the telescope's guide camera and four scientific instruments. And the near-spec spectrograph operates in the same wavelength range. The fine guidance sensor and near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph are used to steady the line of sight during science observations. While the mid-infrared sensor measures the mid to long infrared wavelengths, the $10 billion invested on the JWST's construction were certainly justified by the photographs and data it has sent back so far. On July 12, 2022, the globe saw the first photographs ever captured by the telescope, and scientists agree that they show Webb at its very best. Entirely ready to continue revealing the infrared universe's secrets. The initial group of photos included the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula, the exoplanet WASP-06b, the Southern Ring Nebula, Stevens Quintet, and a spectacular deep field vista of the universe. Since then, scientists have been able to see even more stunning and breathtaking photographs of the cosmos, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. There has been an explosion of astronomical articles released since the JWST data and photographs were made public. And some of them have left astronomers and cosmologists more baffled than ever. Some of these articles have caused widespread alarm among cosmologists. But why is everyone suddenly so worried? Since it's assumed that the James Webb Space Telescope's results directly and repeatedly contradict the Big Bang Theory, we must define the Big Bang to grasp what's going on. Most cosmologists agree that the Big Bang is the best explanation for how the observable universe came to be. Both theoretical and observational aspects of the cosmos's structure led to its development. This model provides a unifying explanation for a wide variety of cosmological phenomena, including the abundance of light elements, large-scale structure, and the cosmic microwave background, by showing how the universe grew from an initial state of high density and temperature. The faster a galaxy is moving away from Earth, the farther distant it is, and this holds true for galaxies at all distances, consistent with the hubble lemaitre law. An ever-increasingly condensed cosmos is predicted by the theory, leading up to a singularity where space and time cease to have any significance. It's been calculated that the Big Bang singularity occurred 13.7 billion years ago, based on precise measurements of the expansion rate of our universe. It happens to be a pretty good approximation of the age of the universe. The idea of the Big Bang is straightforward and clear. Although the expanding cosmos is commonly referred to as the Big Bang, this term is widely criticized as being inaccurate. However, the infinite universe is actually growing into itself, and there's no center to it, contrary to what the term might have you believe. Everywhere at the same time, the Big Bang occurred. It wasn't a snapshot in time, but rather a process unfolding across time. This is supported by the observation that the heat left over from these early times uniformly permeates the universe, and by the fact that galaxies are speeding away from each other and not from some central point. Moreover, the Big Bang is not something we can observe, much as we might like to. However, this does not imply that no evidence of this exists. Scientists claim they can feel the same level of heat from 380,000 years ago, the entire sky and the entire universe are bathed in this heat. Satellites like Cosmic Background Explorer, Wilkins Microwave Anisotropy Probe, and Planck allowed NASA and ESA to create a map of it. Only minute temperature fluctuations could be detected at this point in the cosmos. 
While the JWST's goal was to peer into an unseen window of time in the cosmos, other missions like the Cosmic Background Explorer, the Wilkins Microwave Anisotropy Probe, and Planck have already viewed further into the past than the JWST. One of the primary goals of the James Webb Space Telescope is to capture images of the first objects to form as the cosmos cooled following the Big Bang. DR says that, that era is likely hundreds of millions of years after the one the other satellites were designed to observe, according to John Mather, a senior project scientist on the James Webb Space Telescope. Dr. Mather believes that the tiny temperature fluctuations picked up by these satellites were the germs from which new galaxies emerged. To find out when and how the earliest stars and galaxies arose in the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope was constructed. In conclusion, the leading explanation for the origin of the universe is the Big Bang Theory, which states, in its simplest form, that the known universe began as an infinitely hot and dense single point that expanded and inflated at unimaginable speeds, and then, at a relatively measurable rate, over the next 13.8 billion years, to the still expanding cosmos we see today. The Big Bang is currently our most plausible explanation for how the universe began. However, it appears that these latest JWST photographs are leading some scientists to question the validity of this notion. Most cosmological thinkers have staunchly supported the Big Bang idea, as if it were undeniable fact, for decades. However, the latest JWST findings are causing experts like Alison Kirkpatrick to worry. She is a professor of astronomy at the University of Kansas in Lawrence, who claims that recent developments have caused her to doubt whether or not her entire career has been a waste of time. It's impossible for the Big Bang Theory to account for the fact that galaxies are so uniformly small, old, and abundant. The Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe is expanding and that some kind of bizarre optical illusion must exist in the cosmos. The images from the JWST show galaxies and other objects in the expanding universe getting smaller and smaller, despite the fact that beyond a certain point, galaxies and other objects in the expanding universe start looking bigger as their light is supposed to have left them when they were close to us. A galaxy's apparent size can decrease by a factor of two to three in these pictures, even if it has a higher luminosity or mass than our own Milky Way. If the galaxies the JWST is showing us are the same size as the nearest galaxy, then the universe isn't growing. Furthermore, the red shift does not increase with distance. The red shift of the more recent galaxies in the photographs is two to three times higher. Eric Lerner and Ricardo Scarpa think this runs counter to their theory of an expanding cosmos. But it's consistent with their theory that the universe we live in is static. Previous publications used data from the Hubble Space Telescope to demonstrate that galaxies up to Redshift 5 are consistent with the assumptions of a non-expanding ordinary universe. Big Bang theorists, who believed their concept will be confirmed by the James Webb Space Telescope, anticipated finding galaxies extensively mangled by repeated collisions and mergers. The JWST photos, on the other hand, showed that most galaxies have smooth disks and neat spiral shapes, just like the ones we see today. We may have to rethink our assumptions about how frequently galaxies merge after seeing the data in the recent piece, which shows that there were around 10 times more smooth spiral galaxies than projected. Using this evidence, Lerner and Scarpa claim that the merger theory can be completely demolished. However, some of the galaxies have showed stellar populations that are at least a billion years old, which contradicts the Big Bang Theory's implication that the most distant galaxies in the James Webb photos are viewed as they were roughly 400 to 500 million years after the origin of our universe. As we know, the Big Bang Theory states that nothing could have begun before the event. Thus, according to the writers of the Panic article, these galaxies are evidence that the Big Bang didn't take place, and there can be no galaxies older than the Big Bang. Therefore, it was theorized that, as the JWST peered further into the past and future, the number of galaxies would dwindle until there were none left. After a cosmic dark period, 
new research shows that galaxies as large as the Milky Way are frequent. Yes, even a few hundred million years after the hypothetical Big Bang. When viewed through the lens of the Big Bang, distant galaxies should be inherently smaller. Among the galaxies mentioned in the studies is JHZ-2, which has a predicted radius of only 300 light years, but is far brighter than our own Milky Way. This is just 1 150th the size of the Milky Way. And Lerner says there are other reasons besides the JWST photos to doubt the Big Bang idea. Right now, the Big Bang, in his opinion, makes 16 incorrect predictions for every one that is correct. In addition to the absence of larger and more distant optical illusions, there is also the existence of large-scale structures, too huge to have grown in the period. Its prediction of helium is out by a factor of two. And its prediction of the abundance of lithium is off by a factor of 20. In the years following the Big Bang, cosmologists and astronomers have generally agreed that all mysteries can be resolved. The Big Bang, which was first brought up in an article by Lerner and Scarpa, is most certainly still alive, and the most recent observations of the JWST have not disproven the hypothesis. These findings have shed light on several peculiarities of the cosmos, but the Big Bang theory is based on just two facts. It is known, first, that more distant galaxies have a higher redshift than closer ones, and second, that the cosmos is filled with a cosmic background of microwave radiation. Both of these are two of the three main pieces of evidence that back up the Big Bang idea. The third being the relative abundance of elements in the early cosmos. Nonetheless, these have just served as the model's basis over the years. The conventional model of the universe, commonly known as the LCDM model, was developed by scientists using these ideas. This scenario is supported by the observed acceleration of the cosmic expansion and the observed grouping of galaxies. In a static and non-expanding universe, the Tallman test predicts that all galaxies, regardless of their distance, would have the same surface brightness, as can be seen in the JWST photos, the surface brightness of more distant galaxies is lower than that of more nearby ones. Redshift is often used in these pictures to support the false belief that galaxies are receding at an ever-increasing rate of speed. In reality, faraway galaxies aren't hurtling through the void at breakneck speeds. Actually, the expansion of space itself is creating more distance between us. This distinction highlights the fact that cosmic expansion and not relative motion is responsible for the galactic redshift. The results of the James Webb Space Telescope are not completely consistent with forecasts made by experts. The Big Bang scenario has been widely advertised as being falsified by the data obtained by the spectacular James Webb Space Telescope. But astronomers were expected to uncover such confusing data, and this may explain why so much was spent on the telescope in the first place. It turns out that the photos from the James Webb Satellite Telescope triggered more than just thoughts of the Big Bang. Good news. The telescope discovered a galaxy that existed about 13.5 billion years ago, just a few weeks after the first images of the JWST were released. The GLASS Z13 galaxy dates back to around 300 million years after the Big Bang, which is 100 million years earlier than anything previously identified that we were potentially looking at the farthest distant starlight that anyone has seen, according to Rowan and Naidu, of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics. This was discovered in the near-chem data released early by the James Webb Space Telescope. After being converted from infrared to visible light, it appears as a red blob with a white center inside the larger deep field image of the cosmos in the background. Scientists have found something really startling in their analysis of the James Webb data. This galaxy has the mass of a billion suns. However, they anticipate learning more once the Webb's administration grants them spectroscopy time. Are there even more ancient galaxies out there? And do you think Lerner and Scarpa are on to anything with their hypothesis of a non-expanding universe? Thank you for watching this video until the end. Did you like this video? 
Leave a like and subscribe to our channel to stay notified of our new video releases. We have yet another interesting video ready for you. Tap on the video on your screen and let us take you into another incredible space adventure.